When I died on my PvP locked hardcore Iron Man, I said this. Dude, everybody did this intro. Get straight to the point. Found the PvP hardcore Iron Man right here. If it goes for the Chronicle teleport, we got it. Which freaking teleport did he use? He's an he's actually an RD. He was thieving right here under this guy, right here. Prepare the TB. Prepare the TB. Got a TB. Here we go. This is the hardcore. A 27. We need the venom to hit straight away. Gotta freeze, gotta freeze. Yes, gotta freeze. He's venom as well. And another PvP hard crime man is dead. There he is. Wow, we got another one. Lawrence, 200. Very good attempt, Mr. PvP hard crime man. Very good attempt. But unfortunately, that's the end of your journey. <laughs> you serious? All right, so let me take you back to where my journey first began. As you can tell by the scuff screen recording, I'm still very new to this and editing in general, but I do promise to get better. Also, I didn't want to waste too much of your time on a hard car man that was already dead, so I am speeding through these clips, so I'm sorry if it's hard to follow along. I also had a booty mic for the first half of this video, so I have to do a voiceover, but I did end up getting a better mic. And the rest of it isn't voiced over. So at this point I got some cash, runes, and now I'm ready to go get some bones for prayer. As I was headed there I was like, I should get an anti-dragon shield, but I shouldn't be here too long and I'm safe spotting, so I should be safe? Question mark? Let's see how this plays out. One hit. I literally got one hit by the dragon and I think like 10 hours or so down the drain. New day new account and I'm ready to get back on the grind let's go after another 10 hours or so I'm back where I started this time I'm prepared these dragons can suck my dragon shield and I'm not leaving until I have 43 prayer banked also this is what the safe spot should have looked like yeah let's not talk about that two bones after all that I've got two bones to my name and currently reevaluating every life decision I've ever made Decided to go to Fire Giants until I ran out of runes. I got 41 Mage and 13 Prayer. It's not bad. Rune Skimmy, uh, what is it? 35 KC? Uh, don't mind if I do. Damn, they really put C Engineer in the game, though. I remember Blue Dragons were a thing, so now I'm here instead of Green Dragons. What was I doing? First inventory of Dragon Bones. Slowly working towards 43 Prayer. Don't mind the two dorks on the left. I'm grabbing some cakes so I can head to Pyramid Plunder. What? The Agility Pyramid. And, uh, yeah, cakes are really nice because they don't weigh that much and they heal you 12 per cake. Pretty nice. Calling out Lucky Imps like a Chad. Just spent about an hour and a half, uh, 60 ish K. It's not bad. Buying more runes so I can head back to Blue Dragons. Uh,. 43 prayer is really important. If you've never ran all the way somewhere and realized you forgot something and have to go all the way back, you're not playing RuneScape. We're live and we'll see you guys. Oh! Oh my god, I'm even poisoned. Oh, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> okay. We're done for today. Later.
this is what I was watching when I almost died, just, just before I go to sleep, so, you almost got me seeing Janir without even trying, you almost got me. <sighs> Next day, still poisoned and still stressing, honestly. Another inventory of dragon bones. Imagine DCing while trying this. I'm getting out of here. This is my last inventory anyway. Copy C engineer. Spin this thing around. I'm not sure why I blazed through this so fast without stopping at 43 prayer when it was such an important uh like milestone, but 43 prayer. <laughs> Had enough bones for 45 prayers, so that's Mystic Might unlocked. The quickest hunter and slayer XP. Make sure you knock this out early game. Copy C engineer. Copy C engineer. Copy C engineer. This is, of course, a really good spot to unlock for early game teleports and money and stuff. I think I spent an hour, maybe an hour and a half here, and this is the loot. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this by now, but this is pretty much the best bolts you can use until you unlock broad bolts, because you can just get so many of them. In my head, Wilderness Slayer was a good idea, but yeah, a 19 Slayer for Animal Magnetism, and I'm out of here. Copy C Engineer. This dude has 91 agility from botting something like this. 91 agility. Copy C Engineer. Copy C Engineer. Knocking out 30 fire making for the Sea Slug quest. It's a really good fishing experience. Sea Slug quest. Copy C Engineer. I was just AFK in here, getting some range experience. I knew this place would be scouted, but this is my first encounter with somebody. I think he was a fake, though. He kept, like, making up a bunch of stuff. I don't know. It was kind of weird. These things do drop giant frog legs, and they're 1k apiece. It's actually some nice, like, early game money if you're just doing AFK range on, like, a regular Iron Man account. Uh, yeah. I think I'm good to go. New mic set up. And... Let's fucking play. Four quest points. Copy, C engineer. Make sure you knock the knight's sword quest out as early as you can. Elemental workshop one also. Pivotal quest to unlock early game. Save you a lot of ammo. Copy, C engineer. Copy, C engineer. Copy, C engineer. Checking to see what three items I need, and I got really lucky on this one. Fairy tail part one, copy scene engineer. Fairy rings unlocked. Well, there it goes. Rune X. What KC twenty one. Still gonna be here for another thirty minutes, maybe an hour. Get a couple hundred more nature runes. I'll stop at like 250 or something. Yeah, I just did that on accident. Fuck! Nice. Runex. Uh, 55 KC. That wasn't bad. Back here getting some quick cash. Kind of triggered I didn't record this, but I spent, let's see, where is it? I spent, I'm not kidding, 20 minutes on this easy, not even easy, this beginner clue, for two steel daggers and a longbow. Took me 20 minutes, had to get a strange device and all this, right? Do an easy clue in like, f literally a minute. Got this sweet upgrade. And I got this sweet upgrade, which I've been needing to just go and make one, but I've been kind of just winging it. So that's pretty cool. Mmm, fuck. I definitely don't like that. I'm not gonna lie, this training spot is pretty fucking sketchy. I was... Fuck. I was at my previous training spot of right here for all of five minutes and somebody found me. So yeah, I uh, really don't know what to do. Oh my god. Goodbye, damn.
if you made it to the end of the video i just want to say thank you i appreciate you so much like, you don't know how much that means to me and i know everybody says that but i really appreciate it today is also my birthday it's currently 4 35 a.m i'm ready to go to sleep i'm really tired and uh before i do that i just want to say thank you for seeing my journey through the hardcore iron man and uh yeah here's a sneak peek of my latest hardcore iron man Oh yeah, I need members, fuck. I haven't logged on in like three weeks. I've been kind of depressed, not gonna lie, but here we go. When was the last time I logged in? 17 hours. Before that, it was like three weeks. I think I logged in just to, I really don't remember what. Ah, I'm not in a PvP world. Oops. Y'all didn't see that. Cut. So this is what we're looking like. Let me cut this out real quick. This is the bank. I'll be seeing you on the next journey.